this is the uh, first video in the Get It Painted 2017 um, series um, run by Edit Beer on the uh, Edit Beer channel, uh, Edit Beer 40k channel. Uh, be a link below to the channel of that one. Um, so this year I've decided that I will try to um, paint this guy, which is the um, Corbax. Um, Demon of the Ruined Storm from the Horus Heresy character series. Um, I've had this guy um, sitting in his box for um, nearly nearly two years now and I thought it's just about time that I should really um, get him out. I haven't even put him together or anything so it's quite, uh, it's been sitting there, it's sort of the ideal sort of candidate for this sort of get it painted challenge really. Um, and as there's a massive amount of um, Nurgle and Death God releases for 40k, uh, it seems to be um, a good opportunity to really uh, sort of get this guy done as well, just for that really. Um, I've always been interested in Nurgle, really, as, as my favourite Chaos God. And over the years I've collected all sorts of different models and bits and pieces and most of the um, Chaos stuff that I've actually managed to paint has actually been sort of um, Nurgle or Death Card related um, characters and uh, troops and bits and pieces like that. So um, it was sort of a natural thing to sort of move on to the um, uh, um, the uh, this model from the Horus Heresy, which is essentially um, a greater demon of, of Nurgle or great unclean one and stuff on there, but just a, a special character. The Horror Heresy series as well um, comes in this massive um, box here, uh, which is in, which is anyone who's bought anything from the um, character series. You can see the actual box itself is quite large um, in comparison to most of the other um, bits and pieces there. So you can see there. So um, I've taken all the bits and pieces out of the box, um, but I was just going to show you um, a quick rundown of them and give you give you sort of a um, uh, an example sort of how big, big this guy is. So he sort of sits on, sits on this size base, which is a, I believe is a hundred mil by sort of sixty mil base, um, or eighty mil maybe um, for the diameters and stuff. There's quite a large, large base there. So um, actually, got some scales on there. Actually, let's, let's see. So that's hundred, hundred and twenty. Yeah, so it's 120 by a good 90, yeah, 90, maybe 100 mil that way. So it's quite a, a decent size, decent size base, as you can see on there. Um, comes in quite a few uh, component parts. I'll just run through them quickly. The main bulk of the body is this bit. So as you can see, it's quite a chunky piece of resin, really. Um, that's the main bulk of the body, um, so that's quite good. So it's good that it's not any um, less than that really uh, for the body and the rest of the bits and pieces. They're just sort of um, stick-on components and so on. Um, so as I said, it's been sitting in the box for a couple of years. I haven't even taken uh, the pieces off the uh, gates and stuff like that. So it's um, yeah, it's quite um, uh, quite. Um, Disappointing really for my point here that I haven't even put, put the model together. Um, so yeah, I'm going to rectify that. So the um, the head goes on something like that. Uh, bits and pieces on there. So the head fits on there. So it's a good, decent sized model. Um, and there's um, a tongue that fits in, fits into the mouth and stuff on there. So the tongue. Then there's um, a leg. Which fits on this side somewhere, probably something like that. Um, look on there, and then there's a base of a leg. I, I think it's either this side or the other side. That, that bit of the leg sticks on there. Um, then there is a massive sort of um, arm piece. Um, so it's different to a great unclean one in the fact that he doesn't have a, um, a great sword or anything like that. So literally his arm is also his weapon as well so that's quite cool um, this looks like the other other arm piece there 
um, and then I think this goes on the end of the arm that looks like a looks like a fist uh, so I think that fits on the end of the the other piece there that sort of goes on there like that and that's with your traditional sort of chain thing that the great and clean one sort of has um, on his model and then um, there's some assorted um, uh, your tentacles there's a couple of tentacles there and uh, some tentacles there so assorted tentacles and then you also get um, so get three nerglings as well um, to populate populate the base or do whatever you want with them as well so um, yeah it's quite quite an interesting model um, it's um, forgetting how big it is really um, so once that's put together I'll do another another video before I start of um, I don't know I'll, I'll do a quick video of just a few photos and stuff of it put together uh, but essentially that's what I've decided to um, put together for this year's um, Get It Painted Challenge um, I picked up the Death Guard Codex recently and um, I've got the Dark Imperial box set so I do have quite a lot of them um, you know, kicking around at the moment and this is um, a quick overview of the Nurgle models uh, that I have coming in at the moment so you've got your, your Pox Walkers in the background there um, your Dark Imperial sort of special characters and the um, what's me call these the um, plate marines on the front um, and I've done a couple of conversions as well I'll just show you these as well I'll just give you a quick update with my Death Card army as well I'll move these over Let's have a quick look so I'll put the camera down it's quite high it's bringing So yeah, basically, um, this guy here is a converted um, plague surgeon. I um, picked up the base model um, from a bring and buy sale, a local game store. Um, it was an old um, Space Marine um, apothecary apof model that uh, someone was selling. It was quite um, badly painted. I had to strip the paint off and do this piece on there. I'll put up a photo quickly now just to show you what the model looked like um, before I did bits and pieces to it but I, I added a load of noble bits and pieces to this uh, just to convert him up really um, so he's quite nice decent size uh, decent model and so on so I was quite happy with the way that came out on the paint skin that I put on those um, so that, that is the, the plague surgeon uh, conversion. I'll put him on a um, stone base to elevate him up because um, he was looking quite short next to um, the current sort of plague marine sort of models and so on. I'll bring one over as an example. Um, so now he's roughly the, the same height as your standard sort of plague marine uh, models now, so he doesn't look two hour place I think so that was uh, quite a good way of um, dealing with the, the height situation so yeah basically that's that's the plague surgeon that I've done and the other conversion I've done is um, this guy here which is the um, a lot of people would recognize this from the old um, 40k box set it's got different height to go a bit higher up on there. Can't get him in. That's better. A bit dark. Um, yeah, so he is basically a converted Hellbrute model. Um, as you can see from here, I've taken the multi melters off um, off the model. It's quite dark here actually. Let's move it back over here. So. So as you can see, uh, I've taken off the multi melter and then replaced it with um, twin last cannons, which I've got a bit of bits from spare spare models and stuff like that. So so it's now twin uh, twin last cannon, and then also on his power fist, I've added a 
but um, also added a sort of heavy flamer on his power fist, you can see there, and just um, added pieces of uh, green stuff just to um, blend that in and stuff on those there. So that's my converted help group for the model um, on there as well, really. So um, quite liking the Nurgle because you, you can sort of obviously play around with um, bits and pieces and um, you can be quite liberal with your green stuff and um, liquid green stuff, that sort of thing. So it blends in. If it doesn't blend in properly, you can just blame it on Nurgle. So uh, it's quite it's quite good for a hobby and um, peace of mind. You just convert that and you can see that the size, <laughs> the sheer size of the um, um, greater demon there as well. So it's quite cool when that comes together. Uh, right, so thanks a lot, guys. Um, that is basically what I decided to do for um, this year's Get It Painted Challenge, which is a uh, callback to the um, greater demons of the um, Ruin Storm. And uh, follow me for update videos. And um, please like and comment, and uh, if you feel like it as well, um, please um, look to give me a subscription as well. Okay, so see you in the next one guys. Thanks a lot. Bye.